Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Mustafa Kayum Sharapat Shah for allowing me to speak for a, for a few minutes. My name is Hamidul Islam. My name is Hamidul Islam. ID number is 12013007, Department of Chemistry, Begum Rokia University, Rangpur. Today, my topic of discussion is the gas laws. Among the gas laws, Boyle's law, Charles law, Avogadro's law, Gay-Lussac's law. Gas law depends some parameters like temperature, uh, volume, pressure. Now I am I am telling about Boyle's law. Boyle's law is a gas law which states that the pressure exerted by a gas is inversely proportional to the volume occupied by it. Now its representation graphical, graphically. First graph, graph A is uh, P against B and second graph P against 1 by V. First graph we see that uh, P when, when we uh, increase volume pressure always decrease. We increase pressure double volume has half. Second slide, Charles law. Charles law states that the volume of an ideal gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature at constant pressure. When we increase pressure double, the volume is doubled. Its graphically representation when uh, we increase temperature, pressure is always increased. Third slide. Gay-Lussac's law. Gay-Lussac law is a gas law which states that the pressure exerted by a gas varies directly with the absolute temperature of the gas. We represented, we represented that the graphically represent, representation pressure and temperature. When we pressure double the uh, temperature, no, sorry. When we increase temperature double, pressure always increase double. Then the next slide, Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law states that the volume of gas is directly proportional to the number of moles of gas. When the temperature and pressure are held on a stand. When uh, we increase volume, the mole, the number of moles always increase. Then the next slide, combined gas law. The combined gas law which states that the ratio between product, product of pressure, volume and temperature of system remains constant. We see that uh, P1, V1 by T1 equal constant. Uh, then we write that uh, P1, V1 by T1 equal P2, V2 by T2. Thank you for watching my presentation.